In this video, I want to talk about a couple useful MATLAB commands for doing linear algebra. So you can use these commands to help check your work as you're solving systems of linear equations. There's two commands I want to talk about. The first is RREF, which stands for reduced row echelon form, computes the reduced row echelon form of a matrix. And the second is for solving a system of linear equations, and that is the backslash operator. So let's say that we're given the following problem. Determine the number of solutions to the following system. So the way we can get MATLAB to help us solve this question is we can first create a matrix representing the augmented matrix of this system. So here I've entered in a matrix, uh, which is the augmented matrix for this system. And then I just say RREF of A, and it computes the reduced row echelon form of A for me. So now we can just use what we already know to look at this reduced row echelon form and see the number of solutions to this system. So the first thing that we can check is if the system is consistent. And it is because there's only one all zero row on the of coefficients, and that corresponds to a zero on the right hand side. So the system is consistent. So now we know that there's at least one solution, and now we want to figure out if there's just one solution or infinitely many solutions. So next we look at the leading entries of the reduced row echelon form. So it has two leading entries. in the first row and the second row, leading entries. So now we see if there's a free column, and we see that the third column is inde indeed free because it has no leading entries. So this is a free column. So as the system is consistent and has a free column, we know now that it has infinitely many solutions. Okay, so that's how you can use the reduced row echelon form command of MATLAB to help you with this kind of problem. Let's look at another example here. So here the problem is to find a solution to this system of linear equations. Now we don't have to find the solution set, we don't have to find all the solutions, just a single solution. So this is where we can use the backslash operator. So I'm going to make a matrix A, which holds the coefficients of the variables. So the first row is 2, minus 1, 0, second row minus 1, 2, minus 1, and the third row will be 0, minus 1, 2 and I'm going to make a column vector holding the right-hand side here. So that's 1, 0, minus 1. And now to find a solution to this system, x, I can let x be a backslash b. Okay, so that says a half, 0, minus half. So let's check if that's indeed correct. So a times x is indeed what we wanted, 1, 0, minus 1. So actually, MATLAB is always going to return some solution, uh, some value, rather, for x in this command x equals a backslash b. Even if the system does not have a solution, it'll just re return a value of x that gets you close to the target value b. So you should always check that what MATLAB returns is actually a solution, if that's what you're looking for.